check it out. Um, have a great week, guys. Bless you. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. You are kings and queens. Hi everybody, welcome back to Virtual Kisses. We're gonna give a few minutes for people to hop on. Welcome, Tanya. <laughs> Thank and you, Elsa. Elsa. <laughs> <laughs> and while we're waiting for people to hop on, I think we're just gonna quickly share this onto our pages. Um, yeah, and then hopefully we can see anyone who's hopping on here. You're gonna share yours too, yeah? Oh, great. It's working. It's live. It's live. All right. I will share it yeah. to my page, right? Yes. I'm always, I, I don't, don't know how to do this without starting a watch party. I always start a watch party. <laughs> Can I just post this? I don't want to do a watch party. Just it, where it says, sorry, guys, technical difficulties for the moment. Um, <laughs> Versus share now button. Yeah, I I had to do it a whole other way because I'm not doing another watch party again. So thanks for being patient, guys. This is on live now. <laughs> okay, there we go. <laughs> Your notifications are so loud. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right. Great. So let me just put on. Okay, guys, we're just setting up. Here we go. Okay. Well, welcome, everybody. As you hop on, give us a, a hello or emoji or a wave or tell us where you're watching from um, so we can say some greetings back to y'all. And Tanya and I are back. We're back to share just really quickly um, some tips and tricks about how we're navigating friendship and loneliness during especially times of isolation. And um, we're hoping that these tips may help you. Um, also feel welcome to um, drop your own tips into the comments too. Let us know what you're doing to handle these times. Um, did you wanna take it away first, Tanya? Sure. <laughs> Thanks, Elsa. <laughs> well, I, um, again, thank you all for watching and jumping on. We're so glad you guys can um, be with us and just grab some tips um, from us about, again, loneliness and friendship. Um, well, um, how do we deal with that? Like, what, what do I do? Well, uh, I'm going to give you a tip in my life, how I deal with um, loneliness first. Um, I try, because I'm more of a, um, I, I'm an introvert and an extrovert, meaning I love to cave at times, but my mostly main thing is I love to get out a lot. I love to um, visit with friends, um, see what's out there a bit here and there. And then there's other times where I, I just like to be by myself. But so when I'm by myself for loneliness, I kind of, I, I, one good trick I'd like to do is sometimes I would read a book, you know. Um, other times I like to um, just go for a walk and just enjoy the outdoors. So um, that's one of the tips I can give you for myself that um, when I'm in loneliness, I like to read a book and, and go for walks. Um, and even though in these times we're, we're not allowed right now to socialize as much, hopefully um, it'll be breaking here pretty soon. But I, I usually enjoy, like I said, a book. And when I get into a mystery book or a um, just a real good read, um, it, it passes the time and I, I learn a few things from it. Um, now with 
friends and how I deal with uh, my friends. There's one way of visiting them, which is you see right now, we do virtual videos and we say hi to one another and we talk and <laughs> we, we um, find out how our, our days are. And one of the other ways for the friendship part of it, um, I like to call, give um, like a good long eight hour call to my friends. <laughs> Hint, hint. <laughs> and we just catch up and find out um, how our days are doing and, and especially what God is doing in our life and um, how to, you know, um, basically see what we're doing and um, catch up and whatnot, which takes hours, which I, I kind of like. So that's sometimes how I usually, um, you know, spend my times during loneliness or friendship time, right? In this moment in time, eventually it'll all go back to normal where you can do your normal visitings or whatnot. So yeah, um, how about you, Elsa? <laughs> what would you be doing in your loneliness and friendship times? <laughs> well, thanks for sharing. And just so you guys know, I actually call Tanya Tigger. So if you guys are familiar with Winnie the Pooh, she is the Tigger. She, she likes to go out and, out and bounce around um, and then go back and home and get her energy levels back up again, right? <laughs> so myself, I am um, I am more introverted than Tanya, definitely. I, I like social gatherings and everything, but I get very burnt out. Like I get burnt out fast very quickly. Um, so, and in group settings, I'm kind of more quiet. Um, people need to kind of pick at me to like get me to share something sometimes because I'd rather just sit, listen, observe and learn, right? Um, so yeah, one of the, the things I've been doing um, for loneliness, because I mean, I'm sure with you guys out there, uh, loneliness has come and knocked on your door during these times because <laughs> it has on mine. Um, and you know, me being single, <laughs> sometimes I'm like, hmm, should, I, should I like go look on internet dating again? <laughs> just strike up a conversation with someone. Um, anyways, I visit that, like I just visit the thought, I don't actually do it. So I haven't, but you know, those little struggles come and um, just wondering, right? Like even like uh, searching Facebook groups and stuff, but finding people of, like the same type of uh, interests that I have and kind of scrolling through there and saying, oh, should I join another community or something like that? So just because I'm stuck in my four walls doesn't mean I need to, um, remain like in my in my spirit or in my personality within my four walls like i feel like you know through this media and through um communicating on phones and texts and emails and uh, of course i love these i love the video because i like to see tanya you know i like to see my friend <laughs> i prefer to see people i'm a visual person so i would prefer to see um but you well, know i like to see you too yes <laughs> I'm very, very thankful for all the different forms of communication. So I would say that I, I have definitely used a lot more of that. Uh, I am kind of more on more Zoom calls. I'm like even Zooming with other people that I don't normally Zoom with that I would, you know, not usually hop in my car and go join their groups. But now that if I'm available, I'll join in on their little, on their community and on their like Zoom calls and stuff like that. And so that's been uh, cool. That's been a way for me to kind of still spread out my wings and, you know, still be a bit of a social butterfly. And and then when I'm done, I close the computer and I can go and recharge, right? Where I'm already at home. <laughs> um, one other thing I'm doing for like about friendship is I guess I am taking a little more care in this season, uh, knowing that not everyone gets to isolate with family members like Tanya and I were, were isolating with our family. So we're actually not alone, right? Like moms, you guys know what I'm talking about. You kind of crave alone time. <laughs> the time when nobody's like bugging you at all and you can just have like a couple hours to yourself. Like that's kind of like a prime time, right? So um, we have less opportunities to maybe entertain loneliness. Um, but for those of you who don't have family that you're quarantining with or isolating with, it would be very difficult. And I can see where, um, you know, uh, maybe these kind of tips and tricks may help. So what I've done is because I'm aware of my friends who don't have family that they're isolating with, I've taken 
extra care or special care to like just keep in touch and just, you know, shooting a text here or shooting an email to them or, you know, just, you know, thinking about you, praying for you, how are you doing, that kind of thing. So I'm kind of doing a little more check-ins, uh, check-ups and check-ins. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, it's probably not, not even to tell them about how I'm doing. It's more, I'm really just want to know how they're doing, right? Um, just because like Tanya and I, we do take care of our, um, our, our needs, you know, even with God, right, in prayer and stuff. And, and then again, with our families and everything. So, but we do know that there's a lot of other people out there who don't have that same opportunity. So mm -hmm. that's kind of what I've done. I've, I've uh, taken more care into my friendships, especially the ones who are isolating alone and um, who have been my community since 2016, right? Um, who have like walked this journey out with us. Those are the ones that I'm kind of like checking in on and checking up on. Um, and other than that, I'm just making sure that I am taking care of my social needs by hopping in on more calls and visiting more social circles that I normally wouldn't be a part of. So I'm um, taking more risks, I would say, like that. <laughs> so yeah, that, those are my tips. Hope it helps you guys. Um, I will pass it on to Tanya again. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Um, no, I think that's really good. Uh, and it's true. We've got people who are, are you know, pe friends out there that do not have, if you have friends out there that do not have, um, they're alone, you know, do what Elsa suggests, you know, um, text them a message, say, hi, thinking of you, you know, make their day. And um, yeah, I think that's really good. So um, again, if you all have something you want to share, please give your tips and um, down below <laughs> in the in the chat section. Uh, again, what is your tip? Um, we want to know, um, help everyone else in this community get to know what your thoughts are. So from virtual kisses to, from our home to your home, we're going to say good night. Bye now. Bye. Bye all. <laughs>